going to show you over the next 12 weeks um, how to get to the back, how to escape the back, how to finish from the back. Um, we'll link it to last night's, our last night's move as well. But again, just um, basic concepts. I want to get on the back anyway. Car um, turns on the side, so I really want him to say from side control for him to turn this way. And I want to occupy this space with the chair set. Okay, so how do I actually do that? Um, for those that have been training a while, we talked about box principles. So car has two shoulders, two hips. And connected to those um, are four levers, his legs and his arms. So from here, if I'm making a side control just with a cross face and underhook, and I'm putting weight on car, I'm pinning both his shoulders and his hips. So it's hard for him to turn into me and turn away from me. But that doesn't really be advantageous to me because I want him turning away to get on the back. So again, um, basic concepts from here. Anytime I pin um, Carl's near side, okay, he can turn to me. Okay, or if I turn, pin his far side, he can turn away from me. Okay, the same principle applies by lifting. So if I pin Carl's um, far shoulder, try to turn into me, bro. It's going to be very difficult. But I can also make him turn away by lifting this side, just by doing this. Okay, so just from side control, from my cross face, how can I bait him into turning away? Okay, so from here I have the cross face. I'm going to move the twister side control this way. I'm making sure I free up the space on this arm. Try to turn into me, car. <clears throat> it's difficult. Why? Because I'm pinning this shoulder to the mat. But when he turns away from me, already I'm filling this space. Okay, so he's on the side. I'm making sure that my chest beside his. Again, I can lock the harness, the seat belt. I slide my left knee behind the back of his head. I'm going to step over with my right foot. Okay, detail of making sure that my underhook side, okay, I'm keeping it super, super tight. And then I'm going to roll from my left hip to my right hip. Okay, from on the back. So, again, from the side control, here, okay. Thinking about pinning the far side and the near side. I'll keep the cross face, okay, and I'll switch the twister side control. But I'll wait, make sure, okay, that I take the weight off the near side because I want car to turn, be able to turn away from me. And when he does, I fill that space. Okay. Another variation I can do is instead of just locking the harness, I grip the wrist and get Khmer control. I like this because it sets up my um, choke. So from here, then I'm going to slide my left knee behind the back of his head, step over, and then roll from my left hip to my right hip. And then I'm on his back. So you want to be thinking about that when you're in side control, not just pinning the guy, um, two shoulders and two hips, but also trying to bait him into actually turning. Okay, in this case, we want him turning away, but you can do the same, um, um, beating him to turn into you as well, okay, by pinning the other side. So, again, from here, I have the cross face, okay, as I move the twister side control, let's just say when I come this way, maybe car isn't, isn't, I'm not baiting him and he doesn't do anything, okay, so we talked about him still pinning the shoulder, okay, um, but I can make him. Um, turn away from me by lifting this side. So I get the crook of my arm under his arm, and then I use that to turn him. Okay, so we get one more time. From that position, I still have the cross face. I'll move the twister side control. If he turns away automatically, I'll fill the space with my body. If he doesn't, I put the crook of my arm under his arm. Okay, as I move to north side, I'll bring this forward, and I fill that space with my chest. Okay. Once I get him on the side, I want to keep him there. So I can lock harness control. I prefer this Camera control grip if I can. So it's just like the harness, only I've got wrist control. It's not as secure as the harness, but when we go to hit the bow and arrow choke now, it just gives me um, more options. So I slide my left knee behind the back of his head, and I put my left hip on the mat, okay? I step over into my chair sit position, okay? And as I roll from my left hip to my right hip, Okay, my right hand grabs the wrist and my left hand is coming 
thumb inside grip. Okay, to the lapel. And as I roll onto my right hip, my left leg comes over the far shoulder. So now I've taken both hands out of his defense, let go of the wrist, grab the pants, and as I sit up, I have the bow and arrow choke. Again. So just go from side control. So again, I'm in my cross face underhook. Okay. I'll move the twister side control. If he turns away, that's cool. If he doesn't, I'll get the crook of my arm under his arm. And now I'll turn him, fill that space. So pressure is everything. Use my chest to keep him forward. Okay. Sometimes what happens is, because I'm driving forward, try to put your back on the mat. Okay. Use that pressure to keep him here so I can get harness control. But sometimes when I'm really driving forward, he rolled his knees and turtle. If he does, that's the next move. Okay, so back down again. So I'm here. The crook of my arm under his arm. I fill that space, lock my harness control, come here a grip, cherish it. Okay, as I roll from my left hip to my right hip, my right hand grabs the wrist, my left hand comes into the gi. Okay, as I roll over, I switch. This leg's coming over the shoulder, and then I sit up, and I'm in. Okay, sometimes what happens is, when I get this grip, Carl can defend with his hand by pulling on the gi. So he gets to get a grip on the gi here, and pull it this way with both hands. Okay, and pull it this way. So the way he's, he created that separation, just move that hand. So already, he's made a space here. Let go one second. So I, there, I'm using this. He cutting the jugular and pulling it through. So sometimes a common defense is he gets this grip and he'll pull the gi this way. So he's created space. <coughs> if that's the case, what I want is I'll pull the gi out over the top, making sure that it comes over the shoulder. Okay? And I'll feed it from my left hand to my right hand. And now I just hit the same choke again. And I use his gi to do it. Okay? One time. So whether or not I baited him into turning by pinning this, he's only one way to go, he can't turn into me. Okay? He can lie there and do nothing and I still win because I'm keeping the, the control. Or I can get the crook of my arm into his arm. So I'm either pinning the far side or lifting the near side and vice versa if I want the other effect. So from side control, walk to twister side control, crook of my arm under his arm. Driving forward, fill the space. My knees are off the mat, putting pressure on them. Camera control, or seatbelt grip. Okay, so there, sure sit. Staying close. So as I roll from my left to my right hip, my right hands are ready, hopefully with this gi. Okay, maybe in the process, Carl already gets his grip on the gi. So he makes that and he's pulling it this way. So I want to find the space. Detail if you're going for that version, don't come over the arm, okay? Because there's too much space. I want to come right over the shoulder, and then I'll pass it from my right to my left. And that's doing the same job as that part of the key, okay? Grip, under the shoulder, whisper sweet nothings into the ear. Okay, so, um, let's do it for five, yeah?